On November 8th, Duquesne University's Multicultural Program Council held its annual Diversity Night, focused on creating opportunities to celebrate and understand diversity on the campus of Duquesne. This room, obviously, because there's so much diversity in this room, it's probably the most diverse uh, place I've been in a really, really long time. So uh, when I first got here, I thought, man, this is really crazy. I've never been in a place where it's literally been so black and white. The Multicultural Programming Advisory Council consists of representatives from each of the multicultural student organizations, such as the Asian Student Association, the Black Student Union, the International Relations Club, the International Students Organization, the Muslim Student Association, and the Jewish Student Organization. These members on the council serve as liaisons between the student body and the Office of Multicultural Affairs. In addition, the council serves to unite the multicultural student organizations while also connecting with the larger university. This is done through information sharing, collaborative programming, and personal and professional development. The specific focus of this diversity night was whether or not students believed Duquesne was doing a good job of promoting diversity on campus, and, in the midst of a presidential election cycle, whether or not America as a nation is improving its views on diversity. Yeah, obviously Duquesne's making strides in diversity because more and more cultures are coming into the university as it is. And just like events just like this, and just like having diversity day and seeing other cultures, is just a good way for us to really get um, in contact with other um, people's culture, cultures and backgrounds. So I think it's just great that Duquesne is doing that. I feel like the campus reflects the nation itself, having like a good demographic, well, sort of. So I feel like whoever, like for instance, whoever wins the election, like our campus will reflect that in its attitudes.